Hey everyone, it's Josh from Boost EVM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a year-end outlook that compares your annual budget versus a forecast using your actuals year-to-date and the literal budget remaining for future periods. And when I say literal budget remaining, I'm not referring to the unspent budget for the year, but rather the amounts that were budgeted in all of the future periods. And what this demonstrates for you is uh, a comparison of how you're going to end the year compared to your budget if you were to spend based on the future periods budgets. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create an annual budget metric. And so this is going to be a calculated metric. And we're going to use the costing type of, or the metric type of costing. And so this is a simple one. We're going to use the annual function and then uh, annualize the budget modeled metric. And that budget metric is an out-of-the-box metric. And so the next thing we need is a metric for the future budgets. So this is going to be the amount of budget that's in all of the future periods. Now this will also be a calculated metric with a metric type of costing. And this one is going to be the annual budget uh, metric that we just created minus the budget year to date. So how much of the budget is already uh, behind us? And the budget year to date metric is an out of the box metric, so we didn't need to create that one. All right, so now that we've created our two metrics, we can go here and create a report. So I've already got started. You can see I have the cost center compared to cost year to date, but we don't need cost year to date. So we'll pull that out and we'll pull in the annual budget metric that we created. All right, so here's our annual budget for each of our cost centers. Now what we want to do is compare that to a forecast. So this is going to be how much are we uh, going to spend by the end of the year based on what we've already spent plus what's been budgeted for future periods. So we create that and here you can see we already have the annual budget compared to the forecast of a year-end outlook here. So this is how we're going to finish the year based on what's been spent and what we've projected that we will spend based on the budget. So we can also create uh, a variance column. annual budget uh, minus the forecast that currency also and so now here we've got our variance so we can uh, see which cost centers are going to be over and under by the end of the year we can also do a, a variance percentage so we can see by what percent they'll be over or under. And so that would be the annual budget minus forecast divided by the annual budget. And then put those in parentheses. That's a percent. So we create that. All right, so there's your table. I think the last thing we'll do is a little bit of cosmetic cleanup. So I think we want to put some um, formatting on this. So if we go into this uh, formula here again, we can put some advanced formatting on this. There, so that looks a little better. And then the last thing, I like to do is group these columns like this and again this is just cosmetic makes it look a little bit better and a little 
clear, more clear is what you're looking at here. We'll save that. So there you go. You can see we have this pretty simple, easy to create um, year end outlook for each cost center and the uh, amount of variance for each. So I hope you found this video helpful. Again, this is Josh from Boost TVM. If you have any questions for us, you can reach us at info at boosttvm.com. Thank you.